Tutorial for calling logic extensions directly from a form extension. Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to call logic extensions directly from a form extension. Logic extensions are self-contained specific set of instructions for a given purpose that enable you to create business logic to perform operations such as string manipulation, arithmetic calculation, etc without having to know the syntax of any programming language. You can include logic extensions in orchestrations whenever you need custom logic or calculations. So logic extensions can be used anywhere orchestrations are used. But logic extensions are particularly useful in the context of Enterprise One interactive applications. Therefore, logic extensions are often used in conjunction with form extensions. This feature enables you to call a logic extension directly from a form extension without having to put it inside an orchestration, thus simplifying the process and giving you fewer user-defined objects to manage. Let's see how we can create a logic extension to perform some task and then call that logic extension directly from a form extension. First, we will create a logic extension to calculate the promise delivery date to be 5 days after the requested date. If there is any delay in the delivery of the item, then the promised delivery date can be updated using this logic extension. Now, let's see how we can associate this logic extension to an event on a form. We use the sales order details revision form to manage information about the status of sales order. So that's the right place to call our logic extension. We can use a form extension to add a custom button called update delivery date. Pushing that button will be the event on which our logic extension runs. Use the form extension icon to access the form extension manager side panel. Next, access the associate orchestration wizard. This wizard contains a series of steps that you must complete in a sequential order. In the first step, select the logic extension tab. Then, select the update delivery date button as the control and associate the logic extension with the button clicked event. Use the next button to move to the next step in the wizard. Notice that a check mark on the previous step. This indicates that the step has been completed. In step 2, select the logic extension from the save drop down list. In this case, it is update delivery date. Click next. Provide the inputs for the number of days for which the promised delivery date needs to be updated under the default values column in step 3. We will use 5 days. The end user will provide the requested date. So that will be the input field for this logic extension. Then click next. In step 4, define the order of execution and click next. In step 5, provide the promised delivery date that needs to be updated as the output field. Click save. You can see that the new logic extension that we created is listed under the logic extension tab as saved events. Close the wizard. Save the form extension. Close the form extension manager side panel. Now, in the sales order details revision form, select the item for which we need to update the delivery date and click the update delivery date button. We can see that the promised delivery date is populated 5 days from the requested date. This is how we associate logic extension from a form extension. The process is very similar to launching an orchestration from a form extension. You can choose the form event on which to launch. You can choose which logic extension to launch and you can associate inputs and outputs. However, there is no need to create an orchestration for your logic extension, making the entire process quicker and leaving you with fewer user-defined objects to manage. To learn more about calling logic extension directly from a form extension, see Associate Orchestration with Events section in the JD Edwards Enterprise One using an approving user defined objects guide. To learn more, visit us at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.